a new report finds popular breakfast foods and cereals marketed to children contain a weed-killing chemical. Some health experts link that chemical to cancer. Our Alan Janae shows us that research discovered trace amounts in oats, granolas, and snack bars. Zen Honeycut heads Moms Across America, a group formed to raise awareness about toxic exposures. Her family switched to an organic-only diet after her three sons developed allergies and other health problems. We want to trust that what is in the grocery store is safe. The nonprofit Environmental Working Group, or EWG, had a lab test of 45 samples of products made with conventionally grown oats, and they found glyphosate, the active ingredient in the Monsanto weed killer Roundup, in all but two. I was uh, shocked. Dr. Jennifer Lowry heads the Council on Environmental Health for the American Academy of Pediatrics. We don't know a lot about the effects of glyphosate on children. EWG used its own more stringent standards to conclude that products with excessive levels of the herbicide included Quaker Old Fashioned Oats, Cheerios, Quaker Dinosaur Egg Instant Oats, Great Value Instant Oats, and Back to Nature Classic Granola Clusters. Glyphosate was even found in a few organic products, though most had non-detectable levels. The World Health Organization says glyphosate is is a probable carcinogen. The state of California lists it as a chemical known to the state to cause cancer. Monsanto disputes that, saying in a statement, glyphosate does not cause cancer and has more than a 40-year history of safe use. And Monsanto criticized EWG's research, saying even at the highest levels reported, an adult would have to eat 118 pounds of the food item every day for the rest of their life in order to reach the EPA's limit. If we don't think it does enough in particular to protect children. Alan Janay, CBS4 News. CBS reached out to the maker of those products. In a statement, Quaker said, we proudly stand by the safety and quality of Quaker products. Any level of glyphosate that may remain are significantly below any limits of the safety standards set by the EPA. And General Mills told us our products are safe and without question, they meet regulatory safety levels. The EPA has researched this issue and has set the rules that we follow. Well,